Hi everyone. Hello. Hi, my name is Violette. I'm a makeup artist from Paris. I'm going to tell you about my inspiration for makeup. What I love to do is whenever I'm in New York, go to the Met and take a big breath of inspiration. I had the chance to study art painting at the famous French museum, the Louvre, in Paris. This is where I fell in love with the neoclassicism and the Renaissance painting. Renaissance and neoclassicism are wonderful inspiration for makeup, especially for complexion. Have a look on the paintings of that time and pay attention to the skin. See the texture, the color and the purity. The skin catches the light. The makeup is not static, not like a mask. It will breathe with you between light and shadows, between glow and matte. Makeup must be more about being and looking beautiful than wearing a great makeup. I'm going to show you how to create this perfect look. First, you must arrive the skin so that the foundation goes on evenly. Apply a touch of lip balm. Apply the foundation around the lips, between the eyebrows, going down on the nose, under the eye. It's important to apply foundation on the cheekbones, going from the nose to the temple. Use a blush to sculpt the face. Use the blush as a shadow. It must be brown, with a very small touch of grey. Start from the ears, under the cheekbone, until the middle of the cheek. Then draw the contour of the face. It's important to have the bottom of the face sharp, because it's more graceful. To catch the light, you can mix a lightly bone with a bit of colored lipstick. I apply it with a brush on the cheek. We are going to work now on the flame with the freshness and the natural look of the makeup. You can use a creamy pearly eyeshadow. If you only have a powder eyeshadow, you can mix it with a lip balm to make it creamy. I apply it on the cupid's bow, the chin, the corner of the eye and the top of the cheek. Don't forget to clean the eyes. Then apply a black pencil inside the eyelashes, colored really well between the lashes. It will give the impression that you have a lot of lashes and no one will see the makeup as it's hidden inside the lashes. It's my own magic trick. Then the mascara. A small touch of lipstick with the fingers and to finish the look, apply some powder on the area where we didn't add lights. Et voilà, here you go, a perfect fresh complexion.